So, sisters and brothers, today we celebrate Easter Sunday. It's good to be reminded that Easter Sunday and Good Friday must always be seen as one, as two sides of the same coin. No Easter Sunday without Good Friday. And the Good Friday leads to Easter Sunday. No glory without the cross. And the cross lead us to glory. When our passion and sufferings are correctly understood and accepted in loving faith as Jesus did, they will always lead us to glory, to the experience of Easter Sunday. One leads to the other, the other flows, the one flows from the other. We call it the experience of the Paschal mystery of Christ. That is the core of our Christian spirituality to participate in the Paschal mystery of Christ, the death and resurrection of Jesus. So to experience this resurrected life of glory with God, with Mother Mary, and all the angels and saints in heaven is our Christian home. Now, sisters and brothers, what does Easter Sunday tell us what Good Friday was all about? We try to understand both the positive Easter Sunday and the so-called negative Good Friday. Remember, often we don't experience enough Good Sunday because we have not correctly understand and accepted well Good Friday. We fail to recognize the presence of God in the many Good Fridays that we experience, which, when well accepted, will lead us to Easter Sunday. Okay, first point, Easter Sunday showed us what really happened on Good Friday was more than an execution, but a sacrifice. Why? Because no force human or otherwise, has the power to kill him. That's why Pilate was totally wrong when he told Jesus, don't you know that I have the power to release you and the power to crucify you? And Jesus tore it off. You would have no power over me if it had not been given you from above. It is his loving obedience to the will of his Father as a sacrificial offering for our salvation that Jesus freely accepted his passion, suffering and death. Second, Easter Sunday showed us that Jesus' death was not a defeat. It's actually a triumph. It was a great triumph over the twin enemies of our human race, sin and death. The evil of sin could not overcome him. On the contrary, he conquered evil with good right till the final hours of his life on the cross, having been unjustly and cruelly tortured instead of anger and hatred towards his tormentors, he prayed, Father, forgive them. Third, Easter Sunday shows us that Jesus' death was not an end. 
Death is not the last word. Jesus has made death as a passage to a higher, better life where there will be no more tears, pains, and sorrows. He has gone before us in death to show us the way of the cross to the darkness of the tomb, to the brilliant light of the resurrection, to the newness of life. By His passion, death and resurrection, Jesus has made all things new. There was a moving scene from Mel Gibson's film, The Passion of Christ. That film is violent, yes, but not all violence. They are also tender, moving, and touching scenes, especially those of Jesus with Mary, his mother. Several times during the process of the Passion, for example, at the scourging, during the weight of the cross, at Calvary, it is the glance of Mary, his mother, that gives Jesus the human support that strengthens him in the process to the next stage of suffering. There was one fall when Mary crawls next to Jesus and she assures him, I am here. I am here. Only two words, but very powerful words. With that, Jesus seems to regain his focus and replies to her concerning his redemptive mission. See, Mother, I make all things new. I make all things new. It's a phrase taken from the book of Revelation. Jesus has not retaliated evil with evil, violence with violence. He conquered evil with good. He preached, he taught something new. It was said of old, he says, love your neighbor and hate your enemies. But I say to you, love your enemies. Bless and pray for those who persecute you. And on the cross, he did just that. Father, forgive them. Sisters and brothers, our Easter faith gives us the confident hope that Jesus will make all things new in our lives, in our family, our BCs, our parish community. Yes, the creation of a renewed, vibrant community of effective, healthy missionary disciples. See, Mother, I make all things new. Our Easter celebration is a celebration of this confident hope in Jesus in making all things new. So sisters and brothers, with Jesus, let us rise from a life of negativity, cynicism, and mediocrity. Let us walk like Mary, Peter, and John from the darkness of grief and doubt to the morning of joy and hope. Amen.